I'm Rob Holman with Northwest Fishermen Ports, and I'm here in one of the wild places of the Northwest, Vancouver Island. We've been fishing all day with Adrian O'Connor of Real Obsession. How are you doing today, guys? Uh, I asked Adrian to give us a quick demo on how to properly clean and fillet a halibut. Sure. Yeah, I think we've probably done a couple over the years. Okay. Uh, this is, you know, season number 16, so yeah, there's definitely a few halibut under our belt. So, you don't we'll, mind uh, giving our our guys uh, a little bit of a couple tips here, huh? No, definitely not. We'll go at it. It's actually I, I find it one of the easiest fish to fillet, given you know there's actually no bones that are going to be in your uh, in your fillet. Right. So, First of all, I like to take my fish, scrape any of that slime off its, uh, that's been on it. That way we get a nice clean fillet. I'm going to kind of turn that fish a little bit towards me. With these bigger fish, we're not going to take the belly meat. So our first incision is going to come behind the head and just around that belly cavity. You can easily see it and feel it. There's actually a line on these. They give you a little bit of directions. You're just gonna yeah. follow, it, it kind of ends here and curves up, but you're just going to follow it straight up all the way down. Come across that fish again. And then we're just making strokes right along that bone there. And it's just going to open that meat wide oh, open. Look at how white that is. Yeah, you know, there's nothing really left on that bone there. Mm -hmm. You got a perfect fillet. Over to the other side, I like to turn it so that my knife's always coming across my body. I find it easier that way. It's really whatever you're most comfortable with and you get sure. used to, right? But for me, that's the way that I like to do it. We got that backbone. We're just going to come straight up along that backbone and then back down just along those same bones, just going the other way like we did on the other first side. Sure. Is there any difference with a uh, smaller fish or the size, weight, impact any of this or they're all laid out the same? They are all the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no difference. Uh, always want to make sure you got a perfectly sharp knife. You know, mm -hmm. we, we've left nothing to waste on that fish. The white side's a little thinner than the brown side. We're going to get a couple thicker pieces off of the brown side. Mm -hmm. but. It literally has the exact same line, right. same contours, same bone structure on the other side. Straight down the middle. This one's a little big for the cleaning table, but <laughs> we can't complain about that. Just coming right on the angle. You can see the angle on those bones come come from the, the front to the back. Sure. That's kind of just the direction that I bring my knife along it. Gotcha. Just folding it over. Try not to rip that meat as we're so always it start over with there. the white side. Is that no? Not necessarily. No. It was just up on the table, and being a 55-pound fish, I didn't feel like flipping it over. But gotcha. No, you can start on any side. I use quite a big knife. A lot of guys aren't comfortable using that. You know, you can use any fillet knife. It's got a good edge on it that you're comfortable using. This is a female halibut. Pink gonads, they call them. On a male, this will be a grayish green. Hmm. I could probably show you that on a smaller fish, but the pink is the female. Pretty much all the big fish, anything 35, 40 pounds plus is typically a female. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and being a fish of this size, we can definitely take a cheek off of it. Oh, I've heard of that. Done. Halibut cheeks. I've heard of those once or twice. You can kind of feel. When can you start taking their cheeks, Adrian? You can literally do it off a small one. You know, mm -hmm. people take walleye cheeks and they're four or five right. pound fish, right? right? So pop them out. You just feel it. Feel where that bone is on the edge. Get your knife in there and just work the tip around it. Back the other way, all the way around. It's just going to make a, a nice oval circle kind of shape. And, you know, a couple of them is not a bad dinner for one. You know, oh. the flavor is very similar to the halibut meat, but it's got a really nice texture, kind of like crab. Mm -hmm. 
I'll actually come back over and get that white one out. The white one's actually a little bit bigger, like the brown side's got fatter meat huh. as far as the meat, but the white side cheek, I'm guessing it's because the eyes are on the brown side, right? Right. So you get a little bit. Room. You get a little bit more. For the white side. And this one's got our gaff mark in it, so <laughs> we're gonna have to do a little bit of work cleaning that part yeah. of it up. But we get can, the idea, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 So. Right on. And that one's going down to the crabs and starfish. If we wanted to make some soup or anything, you know, makes a great soup. But uh, sure. For right now, we got lots of that, so we'll be good. We're gonna we'll feed the crabs. Adrian, thanks so much for uh, showing us how to get that done. And uh, again, it was a pleasure catching these with you. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Slimy high five. Where you're <laughs>